Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Gold. We are entering the gym at Equitique City and we're uh, battling Voldemort because he apparently lives here. So, let's get a move on. Oh my god, Baldi! You dyed your baldness blue? That's kind of weird. Anyway, Ghastly. I love Ghastly. Ghastly is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh my god, and he's a ghost! Very, um, stereotypical of me, but whatever. I don't think that's effective. Why did I just use that? Ooh, mean look! <laughs> that's hilarious, okay. So, um, basically... What is wrong with you, dude? Thank you. Um, so anyway... What? What just happened? Okay. That's... This is... I, I don't even know what to say about this battle right now because I'm really confused as to what I did and what just happened. <laughs> I guess I forgot what the heck Whirlwind did. Therefore, I am baffled right now. So anyway, this gym, um, I'm pretty sure has a lot of ghost types just because of the whole legend of the burnt tower in the city. Uh, which is kind of overdone, but whatever. At this point, I guess it was new. But I feel like Pokemon never really let go of that idea. Um, I don't know. And yes, we're going to change to works because this guy has a lot of Pokemon. And I need to teach works Surf, but we haven't done that yet. So we'll do that after this because um, I didn't want to do that off camera. Bite because it's so possible to bite a ghost, but it's super effective, so... Anyway, I would love to have Haunter on my final team. Um, but, you know, of course we need to catch a Ghastly first. No, I'm not going to change Pokemon. And then we can, um, we can work out the Haunter magic. Haunter is... let me see. I know I've said I have a lot of favorite Pokemon, obviously, but I feel like we've been seeing my favorite Pokemon more than usual. From the original um, 150, my favorite Pokemon, 151, whatever, um, my favorite Pokemon, I'm going to say my top three, actually I'm going to say my top five. My number one is Jigglypuff, number two is probably Squirtle, honestly. Um, number three is Diglett, which is kind of weird, but true. Um, I would say that Haunter is probably number four, not kidding, because I love Haunter. Because I love ghost stuff, so I'm like, oh my god, Haunter. Um, Actually, Haunter might have bypassed Diglett by this point, but I used to think that Diglett was the cutest thing on the planet when I was little. So, um, I'm gonna say that Haunter is third and Diglett's fourth. For fifth, I start to get into massive ties, because I really love, like, Ninetales, but I also love, um, Flareon and... Actually, you know what? I would say Alakazam is probably my, um, my number, my number five. Yeah. I'm gonna go with number five for Alakazam. Those are my top five. <gasps> Haunter! Oh my god! I love Haunter, you guys. So, anyway. What? No, I don't, I, I meant to, okay. I need to teach him Surf and switch him out. So, yeah. That was a I would say that, like, all those that I started to name, like Ninetales, Flareon, um, probably Charmander, um, a lot of those go into the next slot and are kind of just tied. So, not much I can say about that beyond that. And, um, just because I talk about it. I, I love talking about my favorites when it comes to Pokemon, so I talk about it too much. But that's okay. Level 33! Alright. Um, I still need to go back to those areas we were in before and um, battle um, those trainers down there. 
But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use them for lower level Pokemon that I'm thinking of having on my final team. Um, so that way they get good training because it gets really, you know, tedious and annoying to have to just walk through the grass all the time. Um, and that's the story of what happened to Baltimore's wife. Anyway, uh, that is why I have not shown those off. I don't know that I'm going to show those off. Um, and I know I don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway just because... I don't know if we'll be able to go straight to the gym leader from here. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I need to show off the Pokemon in those areas, though, because I know we skipped over, like, Nidoran. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's Nidoran female that is down there. Well, actually, it might have both, but I know that Nidoran female is down there. So, how creative. Name a Pokemon the same thing as another Pokemon and just give them different genders. Weird. Anyway. Now we are ready to go, except I still need to teach Warwick Surf, which I'm going to do right now. So, pack. Alright, HM, Surf, use. Oh my god, it contains Surf, yes. And... Wouldn't that suck if you could only learn like four subjects in school and you had to delete your part of your brain in order to learn a new one? Um. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna delete Scratch and replace it with Surf. Alright, so now that we've learned to Surf. What? That's stupid. Huh? Okay, come on now. What did I. What did I do last time that was so different? Guys, I really don't like this right now. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Okay. The trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you some deep secrets about e critique. Well then, you know what? You're gonna talk to me, Baldi. We use only ghost type Pokemon. No normal type attacks can harm. Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eyes. Wow, that's... that's cool. No! Oh my god, why do I suck at this, you guys? Stop walking too far. Alright. Yes. So basically, you just have to follow their eye line and directly in front of them. Okay, dude, this music... No, don't make that your theme song, because that's annoying. Let me guess, you have Gengar. Oh, well you have a Haunter too, how fun! What a freak! And Bite. Luckily, Bite is like really good against Psychic and uh, Ghost type. That's like the best thing in the world. Because it makes things super easy for Warix. That's why Warix is just an epic Pokemon. Or I should say, you know, um, for Alligator, but whatever. I shall win. You shall not win, actually. And you are on fire! What is that? Who animated that and was like, ooh, she looks like she's sane. Which probably is not what they were going for, but still. I'm gonna say it anyway. Bite. Bye, Ghastly. It was fun times hanging out with you. But your time has come to leave this world. And Haunter's coming out to take your place. Okay, we're not gonna sing anymore because that was really terrible. I didn't even come up with, like, clever lyrics just now. That's annoying. Alright, so... We're almost done, and no Gengar? That's freaky. Alright. Thank you. Not much I can say about that, because... Next up is the gym leader. Medium... Media Martha? What a weird name. 
Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Good of you to have come. Here is E-Critique's Pokemon. Wait, what? I just read that wrong. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly empowered... Truly powerful trainers. Why can I not read? I believed that tail... Oh my god, I can't read right now. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me, but I cannot read right now because I keep screwing up everything I'm saying. <sighs> okay. Okay, future in which, yeah, you want to meet the legendary Pokemon, but guess what? We do! You know why? Because I've played this game before. Actually, that's not why, but you know how I know is because i played the game before. What's up, Morty? You look like a hippie. With ghosts, which is odd. Um, okay, so, speaking of hippie stuff with ghosts, uh, well, not really ghosts, but creatures of the night, um, I went and saw Dark Shadows recently, um, which is the new Tim Burton film with Johnny Depp and Michelle Pfeiffer, and, um, Anyway, it's based on a 1970s TV show that my mom was absolutely obsessed with. So she was like, we have to go see this movie. And I was like, oh, okay. Well then, you know, I'm not a big vampire person because I hate the way vampires have been portrayed to be these hot dudes that are all cold and fed, but like some teenagers are in love with them, which is weird. Or, you know, people are in love with them. Like, uh, obviously it's been stated for the record that Finally, Gengar, that I don't like um, Twilight at all. It's not a good story to me at all. Nothing against anybody who likes it, but uh, no. Um, anyway, I can't stand Twilight. And aside from that, there's like, I never got into Buffy the Vampire when I was little. I never really cared. Uh, one of my best friends, that was her favorite show, and I was just like, Buffy the Vampire? What? Or Vampire Slayer, whatever. It never interested me either way. Um, and then, you know, there's, uh, shoot, what's that movie that I'm, what am I thinking of right now? Oh no, it's not a movie, it's a series on HBO, True Blood, which it's alright, but it's kind of the same deal where it's like, ooh, the vampires are so hot, and I don't know. I just never got into it. I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, my whole vibe with vampires is that they need to be cartoony and need to be like super old world animated because that is the nature of their character, like Dracula and whatever. And I am getting really pissed off right now because thank you! Anyway, um, so, you know, I think that's the way Okay, good. That's the way that vampires need to be done. I always loved um, the movie Interview with a Vampire when I was little. I did actually like that. That's that like old world style, whatever. And um, no, we don't need to change Pokemon. Anyway, and this movie, this Tim Burton film, because I love Tim Burton and I love haunted stuff, which is kind of the reason why I bring up the topic in the first place. It's weird that I never really care about, have cared about vampires. It's just not been my thing ever. Um, is that that movie was hilarious. You guys, you seriously need to go see it because I, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. And I was like, that is the way to portray a vampire. <laughs> So that is my point with that big long speech, but um, yeah, I went and saw that recently and it was pretty awesome and I felt like vampires were done right. Fog Badge, yes! By having Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you, also Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. So I want you to have this too, TM30. So yeah, now we can officially use Surf. Um, but I wanted to have it taught to... Uh, ooh, Shadow Ball, that's a fun move. Anyway, I wanted to have that taught to Warwick before it got to the part that I needed it, and I was like, oh, well, forgot about that. Okay, the one who wants to win... Uh, okay, no. Do you have anything interesting to say? Because if you don't... Where did Pokemon come from? Yeah, you have nothing interesting to say. Alright, 
So, we now have four badges, officially. Um, so I'm gonna heal my Pokemon and then show that off, because that means we're halfway to the Elite Four, which is pretty dang sweet. And, you know, we're about to encounter some pretty heavy-duty details within this game and the whole story behind Pokemon Gold. So we're right at a perfect stopping point for this week. Um, let's look at our Pokegear. Wait. No, that's the that's not the right thing. Hold on. Oh no, I'm not. Uh, duh, I have to look at my name. Yay! Four badges. Woo! Look at that. You get it. Work those badges. Okay. Anyway. Oh, we have a six and a four in our ID number. It's backwards, but whatever. Um. So yeah. Next time we are going to be able to enter the tower, this right here, and we're going to really be able to progress with the whole legendary spiel and um, red Gyarados, which is coming up next. I would say that all of that should be covered next week. Um, I'm going to try and work some of these battles, train my Pokemon, and um, I might not show off catching certain Pokemon, but I'll tell you guys where they um, can be found just because I don't want to waste a lot of time just wandering around because I feel like I've done that a little bit in this past couple weeks like there have been like two or three episodes that have just been like walking around seeing new Pokemon and I think we need to get more into the story details I would like to um, mainly focus on that so I don't know if schedule is going to change next week there's a very very high possibility that it will um, so keep an eye out for that and um, an ear out for, you know, the new update schedule. It'll probably be on my Twitter and on my channel when I decide. So anyway, this has been Madame Wario and we just got our fourth badge. So we're going to peace out for the week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.